In Scrivener, you organize your writing projects in the binder in files and folders, and you can use these files for chapters, sections, or even scenes. As you work on your project, you may want to make changes to this organization. You can easily merge two or more files, or split a file into two files in the binder. When you start writing a project, you may initially write in scenes, then want to combine them later into chapters, or you may want to combine two short chapters into one. To merge files, select two or more files in the binder, then choose Documents, Merge. These files don't have to be contiguous. To select multiple files, click one, then on Mac, press the Command key and click Others. On Windows, click a file, then press Control and click Others. Scrivener combines the selected files into one file, keeping their texts in the same order they were in in the binder. Synopses, notes, bookmarks, keywords, and snapshots are retained in the new file, and the file synopses are combined in the inspector. If you want to view or edit multiple files, such as to check continuity, you may not need to merge them. You can use Scrivening's view. Select two or more files, or select a folder, and Scrivener switches to Scrivening's view. In Scrivening's view, a separator shows you where one file ends and the next one begins. You can view and edit multiple texts in the binder as if they were one. If you started a chapter of your project and it's too long, you may want to split it into two shorter files. Place your cursor where you want to split the file, then choose Documents, Split at Selection. Scrivener creates a new file where you've made the split. You can now treat that new file independently. When you split a file, any synopsis, notes, and snapshots remain with the first file. If you ever want to undo a split, you can simply select the two files and merge them, as you saw before. You can download a 30-day free trial of Scrivener from Mac or Windows at scrivener.com.